Time has expired and the chair now recognizes the gentleman from Kentucky, the chair of the full committee for five minutes for questions. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Wright, for being here. We welcome you to the Energy and Commerce Committee. Uh, many people may not fully appreciate the functions that the department performs in the federal government and your responsibilities as Energy Secretary. You oversee a national security agency and an energy security agency. DOE has designed and produced every nuclear warhead in the U.S. arsenal. It powers the nuclear Navy. It plays critical roles in nonproliferation, international uh, net nuclear security, and other energy security missions. DOE is a world-class science, engineering, and technology agency. It is an environmental engineering and cleanup agency. It is an energy emergency support agency and produces essential energy information for our energy industry and public as well as employing the fastest computers in the world. It is, its work is performed through a nation-spanning complex of national labs, production sites, and facilities, and involves the largest contract workforce outside of the Department of Defense. Ensuring this agency operates efficiently can be a challenge, as the committee's own oversight over the years has demonstrated. That said, successful management of DOE's missions and a focus on its core missions means America will be secure and stay ahead of our adversaries. You are taking charge of DOE at a critical time for the nation. Right now, we are fighting to achieve AI dominance. It is a technological race that we cannot afford to lose to China. The threat of China succeeding at our expense equals, if not surpasses, the threats we faced almost 90 years ago in the race to harness atomic energy, which America fortunately won. The success of the Manhattan Project, a project that is in DOE's DNA, safeguarded our nation's security for two generations. We are confronting a similar treacherous time today. Over the past four years, our adversaries have been emboldened, China in particular. Here at home, our nation confronts tremendous new demand, tremendous new demand for energy and a burning need to revitalize our energy sector. We need energy and more of it. We need to build out the types of energy that we can rely on to power our technological needs, to support our allies, and to build our economy. Against this backdrop, understanding how you plan to address the urgency of this moment is critical. Recent actions by the administration to supercharge the drive to restore our nuclear energy leadership, including at DOE, represent the kind of positive actions this nation needs. What will matter is how you execute these policies. So it is important to understand how you plan to manage the agency and align its budget to effectively meet your priorities and responsibilities and to measure the results. Every new administration takes steps to align DOE structure to meet its priorities. President Trump did it in his first term. President Obama did it twice. We should give you the flexibility to have the organization you need to be effective and to allow you the, to find efficiencies in agency management. We should not lose sight of the reality that the Department of Defense today operates about 35,000 more contractors and employees than it did five years ago, most of that increase in the past four years. The agency used to put out a detailed annual performance report, but the last administration did not produce those reports, limiting accountability for measuring the results of work. Restoring accountability on that front would be welcome. And there certainly is room to be more efficient and effective across the agency and the enterprise for the sake of taxpayer stewardship. Ultimately, what matters is aligning DOE to deliver the nuclear and energy security results that are most essential for the nation and to support the engineering and science that will help us sustain a prosperous future. I really appreciate your willingness to be here to testify. We appreciate uh, you being here this morning and I will yield back.